uh, Secretary General, DAP Secretary General Anthony Lok, my good friend Tan Sri Thomas, Nadu Sri Hishamuddin Yunus, and my good friend uh, who I've not seen for some time, uh, Mali Indias, uh, Kamas family, Gurmit, and uh, the children, and fellow Malaysians. We're here to remember and to honor my good friend, a long time comrade and saudara, Saudara Kabasing. He was a great, a towering Malaysian for his uh, fight for dedication and commitment to fight for justice, for the rule of law, and for good governance. But his legacy must be born by the new generation of Malaysians. There is a battle that has to be fought and continue to be fought generation after generation. We want not only more towering Malaysians like Saudara Kapal, because we want a towering Malaysia, which can contribute to world peace, prosperity, advancement, because the time has come to think of, the, uh, have a, of a global mindset to resolve global problems. We have had pri uh, five prime ministers in five years. And we were striving not to be a towering Malaysia, but were headed towards a divided, failing and failed state. Can we become a towering Malaysian nation, contributing to justice, rule of law, and good governance in the whole world? No race, culture, or religion in Malaysia wants to hurt another race, another culture, another religion. And what happened in, in in the Kampong become where out of the out of nowhere in in the stillness of the night, the Chinese villagers help stranded Malays who were celebrating Hari Raya after celebrating Hari Raya to go to return to Kuala Lumpur is a good example. It is a good example that. On the ground, there is no hatred, no division, no suspicion. Last week, also, we celebrated six festivities. Haraya Adifitri, Wagadi, Tamil New Year, Basaki, Vishu Day, and Songkram. And one of the greatest assets that we have is our ethnic, cultural, religious diversity. And this is recognized in the Malaysian constitution, and in particular, in the Rukun Negara, which sets out belief in God, loyalty to king and country, supremacy of the constitution, the rule of law, courtesy and morality for Malaysia to be a towering Malaysian nation. Equally important are the preamble of the Rukunegara principles, which declares that the nation's commitment to achieve a more perfect unity among the whole society, preserving a democratic way of life, creating a just society where the prosperity 
of the country can be enjoyed together in a fair and equitable manner, guaranteeing a liberal approach towards our traditional heritage, which is rich and diverse, and building a progressive society that will make use of science and modern technology. The gap between reality to, to the reality, the reality today from these principles and objectives a measure of how much we have deviated from the principles of nation building and the concepts of our founding fathers. And we have to ponder and find a way back and there is no better occasion to do so than on the and this memoriam to mark the 10 year untimely passing of Saudara Dato Sri Utama Kapal Singh. I just returned from a trip to Beijing where I went to a temple to mark a personality, Wen Tian Xiang. And uh, this is a, a, a recounted in the book, in the, in the volume one by Kitty A. Tuan Chai's The Biography of Me. And he is a person who was uh, held hostage for four years and is in the 13th century by the Mongols who had conquered China and wanted him to become the Prime Minister of, of China because he was, he, was, he was a good man, but he refused. And finally, he was beheaded. And, uh, be, and when I was in detention in 1969, on the third day, I saw a film. The f name of the film was The Soul of the Nation. He was the soul of the nation. And, uh, and of course, those uh, who are Chinese educated will know what he said, that Everybody must die but you leave behind integrity and rectitude. I think this is something that we must do. Our forefathers were the first one generation, two generations, three generations or more when they came from China, from India. They came to make our living, but they felt they were going to go home. But I think today, no local born Malaysian, a Chinese or a Indian, will want to go home. I visited China several times. I don't feel at home. When I enter Malaysian airspace, I feel it's a sort of a homecoming. <laughs> and we are not. China Chinese or Indian Indians. We are Malaysian Chinese, Malaysian Indians, and Malaysians. We want towering Malaysians. And I think Malaysia can contribute because you have a diversity of uh, languages, cultures, religions, and civilizations to contribute to global inter-religious, inter-civilizational, Harmony, understanding, and dialogue. And I leave these thoughts to you. Thank you very much. And let's re remember Kapal Singh.